What is Jeff Wilson so hot about, Ryan? I mean, it's a it's a fantastic question. Uh, I, I mean, if shoot, if the government wanted to give me two uh, two million dollars uh, tax uh, tax free, totally written off, totally forgiven, and you're still mad about it, <laughs> you know, I don't I don't know what his real problem is. He, he's doing these little podcasts now. They're painful to watch. Anytime this guy's talking about cards, it's almost like nails on a chalkboard. I mean, going back and, and watching this old Dibs video that's two years old and he's so excited and he invested all this money and he's kind of, kind of trying to get all his people uh, you know, to sign up for Dibs. He's literally in the video talking about, oh, go down and sign up for the email and get pre-access and blah, 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 blah. So here he is on the, here he is on the couch. Anytime this guy talks about cards, it's literally like nails on a chalkboard. So sometimes when he talks about other stuff, you know, he can sound somewhat intelligent, but I'm not sure what's true or what's not. Again, he sent us over a 35 page document that has dibs listed as his success. And that's full of crap. There were literally people in the sports card community who went on live streams and read the lawsuit like verbatim. And were like, oh man, that's a really good point. His lawyer made and oh that, and oh that. I wonder if these guys will go back and retract those statements that they made. Because a lot of stuff in there is full of crap. And the only the sign of success that we've been able to see from Jeff Wilson over the years is somebody told me how much his wife sold her business for social news desk back many years ago. And it's a crap ton of money. It is a crap ton of money. Somebody said that, so Hey, social news desk sold for X amount of dollars to this company. It's a lot of money. It would be enough money for Jeff to sit on the couch here with this other woman and buy $500,000 baseball cards. Bottom line, Jeff, to me, especially when he speaks about cards, is just a total fraud. 